Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Kenny Wallace Show, brought to you by Jags, the leader in high-performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to jags.com to fix your hot rod up or your everyday vehicle. This is the Kenny Wallace Show. That means I got a pep in my step. I can be the way I want to be. Woo! I'm excited about that. All right, everybody. I talked to you all last week about William Byron. I said, I love William Byron. He's a badass, but all he does is win. That's all he does is win. Herman, where are you going with this? <laughs> when Denny Hamlin wins, it's like bombs blowing up. Denny Hamlin never wins normally. My God, this guy has done it all except a championship. Denny Hamlin is one of our greatest NASCAR race car drivers of all time. He's won in everything. He's even won on the short tracks, whether it's South Boston or Orange County. He can drive anything. Uh, he's done some stuff at Eldora on dirt. Denny Hamlin is the real deal. So this is what I was talking about, okay? Love William Byron. Think he's awesome. Friend of mine. I see him. We're buddies. But all William does is win. When Denny wins, <laughs> man, oh man, you ought to see, you ought to see your, yourself on social media right now. All of you. <laughs> when, when William wins, <laughs> what you think? Did you think your camera froze for a minute? I love William Byron, but you just saw the difference. I, I didn't have to do any work. I didn't have to do any work. I just said, William Byron win, Denny Hamlin win. Denny Hamlin win. <laughs> William Byron win. <laughs> well, I just like a winner that wins and I go home and go to bed. Well, okay. But it is exciting when Denny Hamlin wins. All right. As the Herminator says, let's de-bullshit this Richmond race. All right. And I've been using this here lately. Let's get to the good part. <laughs> so they make circles, right? But before they made circles, we did something that we've never done before. And you got to give it to NASCAR. Now, listen, I know a lot of you want me to talk bad about NASCAR. Herman, you're not the same. You don't bash NASCAR. I want you to bash NASCAR. Okay. So they come out with a rain tire and they said they're tired of sending you fans home. So at Richmond, they start the race at least two hours early. Right? They start the race at least two hours early. It quits raining. They don't even they, they dry the track just like 30 minutes and they go boom, go green flag. Okay, that was big. When they were racing, when they dropped the green flag with the rain tires on, the new rain tires. There was, there was mist. There was water going. It was crazy. But this is what NASCAR was talking about. They said, we're going to race a little bit in wet conditions because it would usually take two more hours to dry the track. So instead of this, right, let, let's just use the number, let's just say six o'clock at night. They probably would have started at eight. That might have been too late, you know, for on a Sunday night. Maybe they would have started 10, 11. And they would have said, listen, we, we can't do it. So we're just going to move this thing to Monday. No. So those rain tires did their job. Now, I wanted to break that down because I don't think a lot of you understand the situation with the rain tires. They were able to drop the green flag at least two hours early. The track did not have to be perfectly dry. That was a big win for NASCAR. Now, those tires and, you know, no windshield wipers, no blinkers, no lights. You couldn't race in the pouring down rain, but by God, they went green flag two hours earlier than they would have normally went. So I wanted to put that to bed because a lot of you are, what's the big deal? Well, I'm, first of all, they're racing on a wet track, and that was big. So that was big for everybody because they got the race in. All right. Big controversy. Three for Earnhardt. Three controversies. Number one. All right. Let's go to the end of this race and let's let's keep the Kenny Wallace short, show short. Let's keep the Kenny Wallace show short. 
Boy, Sally sold seashells down by the seashore. Say that three times. <laughs> All right. We're coming to the end of the race, and now the black helicopters are flying above the racetrack. This, all of you black helicopter, all you conspiracy theorists, see, black helicopter means woo. So Kyle Larson comes up off a of turn four. Kyle Larson, after the race, says, I was loose and I got finished off. So after the race, Kyle Larson admits. So I'm going to make the sound. Kyle Larson, woo, woo, woo. And Bubba Wallace expecting Kyle to come up off the corner. Kyle goes, woo. And, and Bubba hits him, spins him out. Caution. Now, this is where the black helicopter comes in. Bubba spun Kyle Larson out on purpose so Denny could beat Martin Truex out of the pits and win the race. <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes I wish I won't go there. Okay. No, that's not what happened. After the race, Kyle Larson said, I come off the corner. I was loose. I got loose. I had to let out of the gas. Bubba just hit him, spun him out. And that's just it. So you got to throw the caution flag because Kyle's down in the grass, running through the water. He's got to come back out on the racetrack. Legit caution, caution flag on the racetrack. So I, I'm sorry that I got to spoil your fun, but no, that's not what happened because for that to happen, okay, B Bubba in his car. First of all, Bubba's running fourth, okay? Bubba, Bubba's running fourth. He doesn't want a caution. There's only two or three laps to go, remember? So Bubba spins him out, and, and you know, you're sitting there. Denny's running what, second or third? And he's running third, I think. So Denny's gonna, so Bubba's gonna have to know. I'll spin him out. That way, uh, Denny can beat them all out of the pits and win the race. So, eh, cut that off. That's dumb. I won't say you're stupid. I'll just say you're dumb. Hey, Herman, don't make fun of me. <laughs> I just did. Sorry. I never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a trillion times. Hey, remember, it's the Kenny Wallace show. All right. Controversy number two. The restart. The restart. Denny Hamlin jump the restart. Oh, they should not have let him win the race. People, where, where do I go with all of you? Uh, first of all, the people that didn't like it, it's because your driver didn't win. Um, I don't believe in perfectism. That's a Herminator word. I don't believe in perfectism. But rules are rules, and he jumped the start because Martin Truex said so. Well, hey, Martin Truex, why did you run into everybody after the race? He should have said, because I was pissed, but he didn't say it. The show, the show was Martin Truex after the race because here's Martin. Listen, I felt bad for Martin Truex. Look, I just said it. I felt bad for Martin Truex. Because here's a guy that's going to going to win the race, right? So his team lets him down because Denny Hamlin outruns his team. So Denny Ham Hamlin comes out the leader. Now, that puts Denny Hamlin, he's going to control the restart. That puts, that puts Martin Truex in a bad position. Now he's front row outside. And by the way, I want to make this a big deal right here. I don't believe in that. If you are the leader of the race, you should be out front by yourself because you earned that spot. You shouldn't come out of the pits in first and have, have, have the second place guy start right next to you. Don't even make sense. Eh, that's wrong. I, there, I just bashed NASCAR. Did you like that? Kenny Wallace doesn't agree with NASCAR on restarts. I don't because I'm a dirt racer. If you're leading the race, that means you earned you earned first. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're first and now you let the second place guy line up right next to you. How dumb is that? That's dumb. Capital D U M B. But they do it to make you all happy. So, so Martin Truex's team loses the race off pit road. Okay, because Bubba Wallace and Kyle Larson get together. You're connecting all the dots now, right? So Denny Hamlin 
listen, I'm a race car driver, right? I'm right there. All of a sudden, Danny Hamlin's getting ready to go. He looks in the rearview mirror. He sees Joey Logano holding back. They get ready to attack Denny. That Joey Logano and Martin Truex, go, they're going to attack Denny. They're going to get him. Uh-uh. Denny Hamlin says, you're not going to get me. No. This is what all of you have forgot, what I'm telling you right now. You're not going to let, look, Denny Hamlin's in his car. He's looking in his mirror, right? If, it, if anything, NASCAR should have penalized Joey for holding back, going to get that run, and they're going to go to the inside, just like the Carl Edwards deal at Miami, right? I'm going to come back, I'm going to get a run on him, go to the inside, and then we're going to bang, and I'm going to win the race. That's what Joey Logano was thinking. Joey Logano was thinking about winning the race more than Martin Truex was. And then you see Martin. You see Martin? Martin was doing the old hang back thing. This is why I like what Denny Hamlin did. He said, ain't a none of you going to jump my ass. He took off. And it was this far. So I like the call. Listen to me. I'm going to say it very clearly. I don't care. I'm a smart ass right now. I don't care. Denny Hamlin defended himself on that restart. The end. Now, listen, you're going to go, well, rules are rules. Listen, there's some rules that need to be de-bullshitted. All good. They all were at the start finish line side by side. Because even though Denny took off five, 10 foot early, go look at the replay. Martin Truex and Joey Logano, they were right where they needed to be at the start finish line. I'm the type of guy, look, no harm, no foul. Okay, that's it. Denny Hamlin, the winner. Now, I just gave you my opinion. You respond right here. By the way, while you're responding, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> so I just debullshitted it. I just broke it down, and I told you my truth. That's why Denny Hamlin started the way he started. And I'm going to have Charlie Muller cut that clip right out there. And I guarantee you, Charlie, that didn't take but Earnhardt three minutes to explain. Denny Hamlin defended himself from everybody attacking him. Good job, Denny. You won the race. You gave us controversy. I absolutely love what you did. Second win, you win, you win Bristol. You win here. Uh, you've won so many races, you're getting it done. Congratulations, Denny, because I just told you why. Don't make me repeat myself a third time. Actually, Charlie, that should be our headlines. Uh, Denny Hamlin defends himself. All right. The other controversy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm giving Martin Truex a break because I felt his pain. I felt his pain. If you're Martin Truex and you're not highly frustrated after this race, you're not human. So we go into turn one, right? And as you watch the replay really close, they all go into turn one as hard as they can go on the green white checkered. You see Denny Hamlin's car do the death wiggle. It's like Denny took his car to the maximum peak. He goes down there and it just wiggles. When it wiggles, that means the ass is getting ready to come around. He chases it up a couple feet. And then that's where you heard Kyle Larson say he used him up. Come on. I've had my ass used up. I've been stuck in the wall. It's a green light checker for a NASCAR cup win. I'd cut, I'd cut that bad pinky off for, for one cup win. I never won a cup race. There. I just kicked my own ass to make you happy. Hey, Wallace, you never won a cup race. That's right. That's why I'd wreck anybody to win one. Run second three times. One to Earnhardt at Talladega. The other second place was Rockingham, where Nemechek got me, and then I run second to Burton at, at Loudoun. That don't bother me at all. Three second place finishes. So I'm the type of guy where you're going to do what you got to do to win. All right? And I already heard it all. Well, Denny Hamlin went, went high at Pocono and, and used up Kyle Larson. People, what do you want, everybody to hold their lane? Then it's boring. They don't do nothing. 
You ever watch the V8 series? You ever watch SVG? You ever watch Shane Van Gisbergen in the V8 series over there? They're door banging. They're beating the hell out of each other. Denny Hamlin gave Martin Truex room. Not much. <laughs> Not much. So, and, and you got to remember, Martin's laying on his door, right? Martin Truex is laying on Denny's door. So, if, if, if Denny just comes up a little bit, it's like, he used me up. Hold on. He didn't use you up. You was on his door. You didn't give him a, a foot. So, it's one of those deals where they come up off a of turn two, and you can see Denny, he's in a wide open, and he holds it down. He, he, you know, he does his best. So, Martin Truex had every right to be pissed. Uh, he's going to win the race, and he falls to fourth. And at the end of the race, he's like, screw it. I'm just going to wreck everybody. <laughs> so, so, and what was great, what was great was Kyle Larson knew it. So, Kyle's like, damn, I guess he's mad. Bam. So, he's stuck in the outside lane. That's not the lane to be in. And uh, then after the race, uh, you know, Martin just knocks the hell out of his own teammate, which is Denny Hamlin. And uh, then, of course, you know, Martin Truex and Kyle go at it again, you know, after the race is over because, uh, you know, they're, you know, first of all, you got to remember, who started this pissing match? Martin Truex started the pissing match going down the back straight away by going, bam, on Kyle Larson. So Kyle Larson says, what? So then Kyle Larson comes off off the corner for the finish and uses his ass up. And then and then Martin don't like it, so Martin bangs into him, and Kyle goes, no, no, we'll both go to the jig. The jig's where you fix wrecked race cars. So the race is over, and Kyle's like, okay, race is over. And then, and then Martin goes, I get it. Okay, so I told you I feel bad for Martin Truex. He got used up. He got abused. Here's the bottom line. It was a hell of a show. All right, everybody. This is in podcast form. Remember, you can listen to this on your way to work, on, on Spotify or iTunes, and you can listen to this on your way back home. But this was a really quick one. Respond right here. Argue with me. Herman, I don't like you. Most of you are pissed nowadays. We've all, we've all caught on to your game, everybody. You're only mad when your driver don't win. <laughs> There, I just I just talked a lot of crap. I had a bunch of people jumping on me that I wasn't being mean enough lately. There, there. All right, everybody. Until the next Kenny Wallace show. <laughs>